Hi. I had a birthday recently. I don't want to brag or anything, but I got some great presents. The first present I got was a wide-angle lens for my camcorder. I also got some big, heavy presents from UBS, JP Morgan, and Deutsche Bank. These investment banks are big, multi-billion dollar firms that cater to companies, retirement funds, and very wealthy individuals. In the years leading up to the financial crisis, commercial banks were giving out shady mortgages, rating agencies were claiming these mortgages were AAA quality, and investment banks were selling these mortgage securities to suckers. Suckers like you and me. If you have a retirement plan, a 401k, a pension, some mutual funds, you may have been suckered by one of these investment banks. How do I know this stuff? Easy. The banks were nice enough to write it all down in their annual reports. I went to the websites of some of the big investment banks and I found pages called Contact Us or Investor Relations. I filled out a quick form and I asked the banks to send me paper copies of their annual reports, 10K statements, and statements on corporate ethics and responsibility. Now, all of the investment banks that I've queried have had annual reports and 10Ks. So far, Deutsche Bank is the first one that actually bothers to separate their annual reports from their statements on corporate ethics and responsibility. I imagine at Deutsche Bank, they try and keep these books as far away from each other as possible. They probably argued the whole time they were in that box. Now, these are pretty beefy documents, and I could have read them online, but, well, I'm going to let you in on a secret. You probably can't tell because YouTube is a low-resolution medium, but um, I'm actually an 80-year-old millionaire investor. I'm not very good with computers or the internet, and I'm suspicious of this whole PDF thing that the kids are using these days. When I make investment decisions, I like a good old-fashioned paper book. The whole reason investment banks still bother to print things like this is that they get requests for them all the time. These books are free to anyone who asks. Remember, all of my protest videos have been about facilitating a dialogue among the different players who ruined our economy. Information is the heart of that dialogue. Information makes things better. J.P. Morgan sent me four pounds of information. They used U.S. Priority Mail from Massachusetts. UBS sent me 1.7 kilograms of information. That's metric for 3.3 pounds. They used International FedEx from Switzerland. That's metric for, uh-oh, Deutsche Bank sent me 2.8 kilograms of information. That's metric for 6.1 pounds. They mailed it to me via two-day UPS from Germany. That's metric for please don't tell the internet about this. It's so nice to have pen pals. Now, I was raised to believe that it's rude to discuss how much a birthday present cost, but then I was also raised to believe that it's rude to sell fraudulent mortgage-backed securities and then purchase credit default swaps to profit from the resulting financial ruin. So I don't mind telling you that J.P. Morgan spent $10.50 on postage for my birthday present. How much do you think the European banks spent? How many people are watching this video? And how many of you are willing to spend five minutes filling out a form and requesting some information from an investment bank? Now, once we've read this information, what's the best way to recycle it? I think the opportunity here is to pay it forward. We can rip out 20-page chunks and mail it along to the commercial banks using the business reply mail envelopes we discussed in video number one. That way, the information is circulating and we're facilitating a dialogue that the big banks don't want to have and that they never expected to pay for. Now, there are some knock-on effects to this protest, and I'll be discussing those in a subsequent video. Meanwhile, I've set up a Tumblr at kwso.tumblr.com. I would love to share and showcase some of the emails I've been getting and some of the great ideas people have passed my way for how we can keep Wall Street occupied. So please check that out. Investment banks, thank you so much for my birthday presents. You shouldn't have. I mean, you shouldn't have. I mean, you're probably going to wish you hadn't. Thank you for watching, everybody. And remember, if you can't occupy Wall Street, you can at least keep Wall Street occupied.